guys welcome to my channel today we are going to sew this kimono dress and it's going to be combined with an african print so this is the african print that i'm going to use and this is the fabric if you are here and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video okay to determine the breadth of the fabric is your half of your back measurement plus your sleeve length so that this one the half is seven seven plus the sleeve length i'm using eight and that is going to give me 15 but i made it 16 plus that is 16 is for um allowance to fold the sleeve part and so when i when you get a 16 you times it by four and that is going to be your width of the fabric so this has been folded into four this is two and this is two okay this this style there's no need for zip allowance okay now the length of the dress we are using length 40 and the fabric that i'm using for the down part i'm going i have the fabric here to be nine inches and so nine inches you deduct it from that is nine and a half and so you deduct it from the 40 that is the 40 length of the fabric and so i measured if i deduct nine from the 40 is going to be 31 31 but i've measured 33 here because for sewing allowance that's what i'm going to because at the end of the day this one too i'm going to join half to the fabric and half to half to fold it down and that is going to reduce the nine to eight that is why i measured 33 so that at the end of the day i'll get everything to be 40 okay so you are going to place a measurement on it and so the net width we are going to use is four we are going to use four inches neck width and then the neck deep for the back we are going to make it two inches the neck deep neck deep for the back is going to be two inches for the front i'm going to make it six but because it's a, a v neck I'm going to make it eight so it can be between seven and eight eight this includes sewing allowance so it's okay making the back round round neck Then for the v-neck, I'm going to use this my care to make it. So this is it. When we come, then we come to this side. I'm going to measure a shoulder slope of one and a half one and a half then from here i'm going to measure 10 and you can measure your arm width divided into two then you add three two to three inches to it so there's the arm width um, so I'm going to make everything 10, which is okay. It includes sewing allowance. Okay. Then from shoulder to waist, I'm going to make it 16. Shoulder to waist. 16, I'm going to make it 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Okay. So I'm going to place my measurement here. I'll come here by two inches. That is where I mark the sleeve. I'm going to come here by two inches. Okay. Then when I come to the waist, the waist is the waist is 32. So 32 divided by four. And that's eight. 
then I'm going to add allowance to it and that's two inches allowance one two making ten plus one and a half sewing allowance that will be okay oh let me make it two inches sewing allowance so 12 here then I'm going to measure from shoulder to hip from the waistline I'm going to measure nine nine between nine and eight so i'll make it nine is okay or eight i'm going to make it eight yes eight and for the hip i'm making it 42 and so 42 divided by four is going to be 10.5 10.5 then i'll add two inches one two and then sewing allowance also two inches one two now it's going to be 14.5 so okay so i'm going to join from here this way straight to the waistline it didn't pass through well so Then when we come to the down part here, the down part here, I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure six or six inches up here and then I'm going to curve it. I'm going to curve it this way. So it's going to be like this. So this is going to meet it straight this way. So this is it. So you are going to cut it this way. So I'll take this out and then cut the front part. Okay, so this is the point, but I'm going to go up a bit this way, like half inch. So this is it for the front parts of it and this is it for the back. So at the end of the day this is it. You're going to have it this way. So I have this bias here. I'm going to use it to pipe the neck all around this way. Sew it all through and then then turn it this way and sew it on top to secure it. I'll do it all for the neck, both front and back. Then when I come to the down here, this is the fabric that I'm going to use and I've divided it. I bought, I, I'm using one yard of fabric and I've divided it into four. I'm going to join it together. So I'm joining it. So that it will be long enough for me to gather it. The gathers, uh, the quantity depends on you. How much you want it to be gathered. So this is it. So I'll gather or pipe the neck of the dress. And then come and show it to you. Okay guys, so I have piped the neck of the dress. And I've also 
gathered the fabric so i'm going to attach it to it i'm going to attach it from this point So I'm going to fold this and then sew it this way. So I'm done attaching and also finishing the ends. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have done both. I've done both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join it shoulder to shoulder. to join the shoulder to shoulder but before then I am going to fold this way and then secure this for both before I join the shoulder so I'll do that and show it to you okay guys so here is it I'm done joining the shoulder now I'm going to join it together so I'll come to the waistline here and measure two inches and then I'll measure half inch here half or one inch here I'll measure one inch so I'm going to join it this way okay Then I'll come to the hip side here, also measure two inches. And then this place is going to be straight to the part of the fabric. So it's going to be straight this way. So it's going to be straight this way. Two inches. And then one inch here. Okay, so this is I'm going to join together and come and show it to you. Okay, guys, so this is it for our dress, the end result of the dress. And this is the upper part of it. Mm -hmm. I added two buttons here. You can also do the same. And this is for our belt. It's 56 inches long. And the width is 2 inches on four. So unfold 2 inches. If you open up, it's 4 inches. Okay. So this is it for our dress. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.